Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi, and today we're gonna do a routine against the wall. It's kind of restorative, but we are not gonna use bolsters or anything. We're just gonna use the wall and the poses. We're gonna hold them, some of them for one minute, some of them a little bit longer. But remember that these poses, you can hold it even five minutes if you have time. In this video, we'll hold them only for one minute, but you can extend them as much as you can. So are you ready to start? So we need a wall and the easiest way to go to the wall is we are going to sit down close to our wall with the feet against the wall. I'm going to use a timer that will help us to count our time in each pose. And that's very handy because you don't have to be worried of how long you have. Just this timer will let you know when it's one minute. So after you can just change the pose and you can find this in any app in your phone. So we are going to lie down at the edge of your mat, parallel to your mat, and then we're gonna move our bum back onto the wall. So make sure that your bum is touching the wall and you are at the edge parallel on your mat. And then when we roll, we're gonna roll straight on the mat and we can keep the legs against the wall. This is gonna help us a lot to stimulate our blood circulation, help us to relax. You won't see my face, but you can see here our legs. So the first things after we are here, we're just gonna start bending our legs and we're just gonna hold here the legs. I'm gonna put here my timer and we're just gonna hold the legs with your arms, relax your shoulder, relax your face. And make sure if it's possible that your feet are against the wall, if it's possible. If not, we're just going to hold here. And we're going to breathe. Remember your deep breath. Breathe in, long, and breathe out. We're going to feel the release in the lower back, the stretch of the lower back. And we're going to concentrate in our breath. Breathe in, and breathe out. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. You get tired of your arms, you can always extend your arms just beside your shoulders, palms facing down. And we feel that the squeeze in our tummy will help us to release gases, to help us to stimulate the digestive system as well. And then our next pose, we're going to keep again against the wall, but we're going to extend the legs against the wall. If you feel it's too much for your legs, you can keep them slightly bent. Now we're going to move our arms overhead if it's comfortable for you. If not, you can keep them again beside your shoulders. And we're just going to hold here. Here we're going to try to feel the middle of the spine, and we're going to try to balance right and left side. Again, anytime you feel tense or tight, just use your breath to relax, completely relax here. And if your legs wants to be a slightly bent, it's okay. Don't fight with your body. Just completely release and relax here. We're going to concentrate always in our breath. Breathe in. Anna. We feel the stretch in the legs. The most important, we feel all the stimulation in the spine. Now here we're going to move our hands behind the head and we're going to lift the head with our hands. Here we're going to hold only four breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for three and out. And let's go two. Out. And just one more. And we drop our head onto the floor. Now from here, what we are going to do, we're going to move the right leg to the side. And we're just going to hold here as much as comfortable for us. And we're just going to hold here. We breathe in. And Breathe in. And if it's possible, keep your toes pointing down just to externally rotate the leg. We feel the stretch in the inner thigh. You're just going to, again, you can move your arms beside your shoulders, so keeping just beside you in this pose just to rest. We concentrate in our breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. 
breath in. As you can see, as much as we hold the, the stretch, the muscles start to give up and then the legs start to go lower, which is important. And we move, keep the other leg here, breath in, and let the toes pointing down to help to rotate externally the leg. And breathe out. Now we're going to help us with our hand to release the leg back again to the starting pose. And we're going to drop the other one on the side. And we're just going to hold here. Breathe in and breathe out. As low as it's comfy, make sure that you don't feel the stretch close to your groin. You feel it in your inner thigh, but no close to your groin. Relax your shoulders completely. We breathe in and out. And let gravity kind of pull the legs so you go more and more. Breath in and out. Breath in. You might find the one leg is more flexible than the other one. That's okay. And breathe out. We move the leg back again. We help us. We bend both legs. We go back again to the reclining child pose. Hold your legs. Again, you can squeeze the legs towards your tummy. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face. Breath in deep. And breathe out. Breathe in. And out. Remember that today we're doing only for one minute, but you can hold for longer. Remember, this is a type of style like a yin yoga or restorative yoga. Just at the moment, we're not using any props, so it's great because we don't need to, if we don't have nothing at home, it will be fantastic. It feels lovely in your lower back, feel the release as well in your glutes. But again, all the stimulation of the legs, squeezing the tummy for the organs, for the digestive system. Now we're going to move the feet a little bit higher. Keep your feet flat on the wall. We're going to push the wall with your feet to lift the pelvis. And we're going to do the bridge but against the wall. We're going to press your feet against the wall. And we're going to move our hands under the hips, elbows in. And we're going to support our hips with our hands. We're going to feel the stretch in the neck. We feel that everything is collapsing in the lungs. So we are careful here. Then we breathe deep and long. Can extend in the lungs by the back muscles. Breathe in deep and breathe out. You might feel the stretch in your neck. Make sure that you keep your weight on your shoulders. And if you feel comfy, you keep pressing the wall with the ball of your feet. Just release the heels so we can go a little bit more intense in this stretch. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And out. Let me just check the time. Breathe in. And out. We release. And again, when the hips reach the ground, extend your legs against the wall. We're going to hold here for one minute. And if we feel comfy, we're going to move our arms over your head. If not, you just keep them beside your shoulders. We breathe in deep. And breathe out. And again, breathe in. And out. Again, we just use the breath and gravity to completely relax our body. It feels great, this position. Again, be aware of your right and left side. Balance our right and left side. Don't force your knees. Keep them soft. Feel fantastic, this part. And relax completely your face. 
with your hands under the head and we're gonna lift the head again just to stretch here and we're gonna hold four breath breathe in and out let's go for three and breathe out two and breathe out and just one more and out. drop your head back onto the ground and from here we're gonna the right leg we're gonna move it towards to you away from the wall the other one keep resting here if you feel it's too much for you you can always hold your leg here you just have a little problem and we just hold here again you can hold the leg if you feel it's too much for you if not we just keep it by itself you can open your arms beside your shoulders palms facing down Engage your tummy, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Again, relaxing your face, relaxing your shoulders. If you get tired, you can move back again the foot on the wall, but if not, hold it there. We just hold for another 20 seconds. Breathe in. You can flex and point your foot if you wanted to give some movement onto your leg to don't feel too tense. And breathe out. Breathe in. And release. We change the leg. Left leg move closer to us as far as comfy. We can hold the leg or you can just rest the hands on the ground. Then you can flex and point your foot to help you. But if not, we just keep here static. When we move the leg again away from the wall, we can feel the contraction of the tummy. We need certain effort in this part. We focus in our breath, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. We engage our tummy. Breathe in and out. And again, breathe in. As you can see, the difference of the other yoga, the yoga flow, the hatha yoga, is that we don't hold the poses too long. Now release your foot back again onto the wall. And bend your legs. Let's back again to the bridge. So you push your feet against the wall, lift your pelvis, move your feet a little bit higher, keep your ankles at the same width or at the same height of your feet. And we're gonna hold here for one minute. Move your hands under your hips, elbows in, pushing the wall with your feet, feeling the stretch in your neck. You can always release your heels and press only with the ball of your feet against the wall. We breathe. Remember, these exercises are great to stimulate blood circulation into the brain. Anti-aging effect. Lots of stimulation for the endocrine system because of stimulation of the blood. And we just hold here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And out. And again. And if you feel tired, you can always release, okay? You don't have to stay that long. And don't forget your deep breath all the time. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. We release everybody. We drop our hips back again on the ground. And this time bend your legs and we're gonna open our legs to the butterfly. As far as good for us, we keep the feet together and here you can move your arms again overhead only if it's comfy for you, if not keep your arms a little bit more diagonally or beside your shoulders. This time keep your palms facing up and we're just going to hold here. Breathe in deep and breathe out. Breathe in. Anna, breathe in and out. 
Mm, breathe in. And we are holding for one minute, but remember that if it's too much for you, you can go shorter, take just a resting point, like I'm moving your knees on the above the tummy. Or you can also hold long these poses, or you can repeat the whole sequence anytime, many times you need it to just release. And we just hold here just for another 20 seconds. At the moment I have it with a vibrator, so that's why I can I can feel when it's the time to change. But remember that these applications that they count your minutes, they have a little sound as well to help you to know when the minute is finished. It feels great. We feel the stretch in our inner thigh to give us more mobility in our legs. Now slowly we close our legs and we're gonna go on to the twist. So from here we're gonna drop the legs towards the right side as far as you keep both shoulder blades on the ground. Let the lower leg go all the way and just as much as you can go with the other one. You can also use your hand to gently press the legs and move your face opposite direction and we're just gonna hold here for a minute. This takes a little bit of while too. Set. Oh, this is lovely for your spine. You feel it in your left glute, your back muscles. And we feel here fantastic. And any time we just completely close the eyes and just connect with your body. Feel your body relax and releasing your muscles. Let it go, all the tension. Feels fantastic, this is stretch, I love this stretch. Now we move the legs other side. And you can keep your feet against the wall, extend the other arm beside your shoulder. Drop the bay, the leg close to the ground, go all the way down. And if the top one don't go too low, don't worry. Just use your hand to press gently the legs. Just make sure that you keep both shoulder blades on the ground. Move your face opposite direction of your legs. Relax your face, relax your forehead. Breathe in deep. And breathe out. And again. And out. And back to center. Oh, how it feels. It feels fantastic. No? Now to release from the wall, we're just going to move on the side. And back from where we came. Oh, my God. Probably you heard some mess, but you feel fantastic. Relax, release with your back, with your spine, with your legs. Remember, that it doesn't matter if we do 10 minutes, 20 minutes. It's just important is that we do something for our body every day. So if you want to repeat the sequence, you can click in the chapter to bring you back to the start of the sequence. If not, we, we say goodbye with our three last breath to release tension. So we breathe in, arms up, breathe out through your mouth, arms down. Again, breathe in and breathe out. One more. And out. Feel so relaxed, hands back, pray position, and thank you for joining us. we we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get the notifications when we release a new video. See you soon.